What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. Today, I'm doing race fix for the 2023 War 400. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series, headed the Concrete Dover International Speedway. The only time we'll be racing at Dover in the 2023 season. The last time we raced for Dover National Speedway, we saw Chase Lay pick up his first victory of the 2022 season. He looks to pick up his first victory of the 2023 season this weekend at Dover International Speedway. Should be pretty exciting. The short track racing has been pretty decent so far, and it should be a pretty exciting race on the concrete track this weekend at Dover National Speedway. Before we go ahead and take a look at the picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend is not looking that promising, to be honest with you. It's going to be 70, 67 degrees at high, and right now 50 degrees at the low. We're right now an 80% chance of rain. So this race could get postponed to Monday. That's one thing to watch. Again, it's early when I'm recording this, in the week when I'm recording this video. But nonetheless, there's a good chance weather could be a factor for this weekend at Dover International Speedway. So now, let's jump into picks. For those of you who are new to the channel, here's how picks work on the channel. For the Cup Series, to do two suck picks, two drivers I expect to struggle or continue their struggles. Two underdog picks, two drivers I expect are really, really good at underfunded equipment who are underrated drivers in the sport. And I do the winner's pick, the driver thing is going to win the race. And I do the ones you need to watch out for. And for the Cup Series, I do five drivers you need to watch out for along with the winner of the race. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for this weekend's NASCAR Cup Series race at Dover? My first suck pick for this weekend at Dover National Speedway is the drivers had some pretty good runs at Dover National Speedway in the past. But this guy generally has struggled so far in the 2023 season. He was pretty strong though at Martinsville getting a top 10 finish. And he was pretty strong also at Talladega before getting involved in a wreck. But sadly, I think this guy is going to have a bad run. I'm talking about Eric Amarola. I think Eric Gamarola is going to struggle this weekend, unfortunately. I think Stuart Haas Racing Team has kind of struggled the points throughout the year so far in 2023. And sadly, I think that number 10 team is going to finish outside the top 20 this weekend here at Dover International Speedway, which is a shame because Eric Gamarola, like I said, has had some pretty good runs throughout his career at this racetrack. Unfortunately, though, this time around, I think Eric Gamarola is going to have a bad run at Dover International Speedway. My second suck pick for this weekend at Dover National Speedway is a driver in their sophomore season. I thought this guy in 2023 was actually going to perform a lot better than he has so far throughout the 2023 season. My second suck pick is Austin Sindrick. Like I said, Austin has been kind of a little bit disappointing so far in the 2023 season. Outside of a pretty good run at Circuit Americas and a top 10 at Las Vegas early in the year, Austin Sindrick has generally struggled throughout the 2023 season. It seems like the team Pensy cars in general have been a little bit off so far in 2023. And I sadly believe that Austin is going to have a bad run this weekend at Dover National Speedway. And I think he'll have an unfortunately struggling run this weekend at Dover. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the underdog picks for this weekend at Dover. Here are who are my underdog picks. My first underdog pick for this weekend at Dover National Speedway is a driver of the 41 car for Stuart Haas Racing. And that is Ryan Priest. Ryan Priest has actually showed a lot of pace and a lot of speed on the shorter ovals. And the last time he raced here at Dover, Ryan Priest in a Rick Ware racing car, he contended for a top 15 finish and actually had a pretty good car the last time he raced here at Dover. I think Ryan Priest is actually going to have a pretty strong run this week, and I think he's going to contend for a top 10. Again, it's been not a great year so far for Ryan Priest, but it seems like Ryan Priest does a little better on the shorter oval types of tracks and also on the concrete tracks as well. He generally tends to run a lot better and run pretty good. So I think Ryan Priest is going to have a good run this weekend and contend for a top 10 finish <clears throat> this weekend at Dover International Speedway. My second underdog pick for this weekend is a driver who's been outperforming his equipment really for the last five or six weeks and has been up front a lot more consistently and could surprisingly make the playoffs this year with the kind of speed he has had. I got Todd Gillen as my second underdog pick. I've looked back at the last six NASCAR Cup Series races, and outside of finishing 23rd or 24th from Marzal, where he lost his cylinder, which and he was contending for top 10 there, he has finished in the top 10 or top 15. In fact, he has had three top 10 finishes in the last six races. And like I mentioned, five top 15 finishes in the last six races as well. I think Todd Gillen is underdog to make the playoffs this year. He could be a really surprising, shocking driver that could make the playoffs this year. Front Row has brought a lot of great equipment for him. And I think Front Row made a mistake by not having him full-time in that 38 car because he has been extremely good so far in the 2023 season. I think he's going to be a pretty big contender for top 10 this weekend at Dover. 
And now we're going to go ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for this weekend at Dover. Who is my winner's pick? My winner's pick for this weekend is a driver who has picked up two wins so far in the 2023 season. And Hendrick Motorsports, in general, the organization, has generally run really, really well at Dover. In 2021, we saw Alex Bowman win in the 48 car. And last year, like I mentioned at the beginning, we saw Chase Elliott pick up victory in the 9 car. I think this time around, Kyle Larson is going to get his third win of the 2023 season, get his first win at Dover since 2017 in the fall, and I think Kyle Larson will get the, actually 2019, excuse me, where I think this is Larson's race. I think that number five team has been extremely strong so far throughout the year. They win one race, they lose one. I think they get back to victory lane, and I think Kyle Larson is like, like he was in 2021. I think he's already a championship threat and a championship contender, and I think Kyle Larson will get his third win of 2023 this weekend at Dover. So now we're going to go ahead and jump onto the ones you need to watch out for for this weekend at Dover. Who are the drivers you should watch out for? The first driver you should watch out for Dover this weekend is a driver of the nine car 400 Motorsports, Chase Elliott. Chase Lay had been out for six or seven weeks, and it doesn't seem like Chase Lay has missed a beat. Had a pretty good run in Marzo. Yes, he struggled throughout the day, but it seemed like the car was worse than just Chase Elliott himself and the finishing in the top 10. And at Talladega, while he finished outside, I believe, the top 15, Chase Elliott ran a very, very small race and actually won a stage and scored most stage points or anybody in the race at Talladega. I think Chase Elliott will be a contender. I think Hendrick Motorsports is going to bring a really strong car for Chase Elliott this weekend. I think he'll have a good chance to maybe get his first win of 2023. The second driver you should watch out for is a driver who's won here multiple times and won last week's race at Talladega Super Speedway, and that is Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch has been pretty good so far in 2023. He did have a couple races for Talladega where he's a little bit cold, but I think Kyle Busch is going to have a pretty big bounce back bat run and could get his second straight win and get his third win of the year. I think Rich Schultz Racing is bringing is firing all cylinders with Kyle Busch right now. I think he's a championship threat and a championship contender, and I think Kyle Busch does have a really good chance to get his 63rd career victory this weekend at Dover. The third driver you should watch out for for this weekend at Dover is a driver of the one car for Trackhouse Racing, Ross Chastain. Ross Chastain has been pretty good so far in 2023. He's been extremely consistent and currently sits in the top five in points. And I think that Ross Chastain is going to have a very good chance to get a win this week. And I think he's going to be a pretty big threat in that one car. It was really fast last year. Dover did have some tension with Mark Trix Jr. But nonetheless, I think that Trackhouse brings a great car for Ross Chastain this weekend. At Dover. The fourth driver you should watch out for for this weekend at Dover is a driver I believe is the winningest driver currently active in the NASCAR Cup Series right now, and that is Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick has been pretty consistent so far throughout the 2023 season. It has been the best performing Stuart Haas racing driver this year. I think Stuart Haas racing brings him a really strong car this weekend, broke a 10 for top five, and maybe Kevin Harvick does get that first win of the 2023 season in his 61st career victory. I think Harvick does have a good chance to get it done this weekend at Dover. And the fifth and final driver you should watch out for for this week at, at Dover National Speedway is a driver 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports, and that is William Byron. William Byron's had a couple off weeks the last two weeks. He, I believe he did get a top 10 finish at Talladega, but generally has not had the pace and speed to contend for victories the last couple weeks. But I think William Byron is going to have a pretty big bounce back weekend, and I think William Byron will contend for potentially his third victory of the 2023 season. Plus, this seems like Hendrick Motorsports' playground, where Hendrick Motorsports always runs up front, and they're always extremely good at this racetrack. So I think William Byron is going to have a really good chance to get it done, and I believe that William Byron will be a threat to win this weekend at Dover. So those are my race picks for this weekend at Dover. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Eric Umbrell, Austin Sinner. My underdog picks are Ryan Priest, Todd Gillen. My winner's pick is Kyle Larson. And the ones to watch are Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch, Ross Chastain, Kevin Harvick, and William Byron. Those are my picks for the weekend. So, that is going to be it for the race picks video for the NASCAR Cup Series race at Dover the War 400. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, notifications on so you know if I win a video, I just go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. And links go to below over that, and comment below your thoughts below, and comment below your picks for this weekend at Dover. Let me know your two suck picks, let me know your two underdog picks, and let me know who you think is going to win this weekend at Dover, and let me know the drivers you're watching out for for this weekend at Dover. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm not sure yet or not if there's going to be another video on the channel today. There could be a new video on the channel, but I'm not sure yet. 
Wednesday there's gonna be a NASCAR news video. We might have some news coming out over the next couple of days we might have to discuss. Then on Thursday, there should be a special video dropping. It either will be a silly season update potentially or 2024 schedule predictions. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. Then on Friday, we'll have a NASCAR news video on the channel. And then hopefully the weather can hold off this weekend so we can get some pretty good racing at Dover because last year we had a pretty good race at Dover. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.